Welcome back to 30 Minute Valheim with Cody. I am Cody. We're chunking up some rocks in the yard here to make enough for a couple of refineries so we can just get right to it and continue getting right to it whenever we have any ore to refine. And that's pretty much the name of the game at this point, is to get ore to refine and refine it. Needed another 20 rocks. I've got now a lot more than that. And uh, 10 certling cores. So that makes two of the refineries. Smelter Delta. All right. Hugan's gonna exclaim that I built the thing. I built this. I know Hugan. It's something, huh? You're gonna build two of them. Yeah, refiner, smelter. Shuffled her and dealt her. Something like that? No? Okay. I apologize. And yes, I'd need more certling cores now to build a portal. But let's just get to refining and think about that later. You know what I'm saying? I'm carrying too much. Oh, 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 oh. I'm carrying too much. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is the incline too tall? We're going to find out. Oh, 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 yeah, I can do it. I did it. Really looking forward to that belt. Really looking forward to that new yard. Which, since I'm waiting on this and don't really have enough or portal in this, once I tear this apart, I am going to work on flattening land. Might as well make some more coal while I'm doing that. I imagine I'll be making some more wood while I'm flattening land. Okay, go ahead and carry these with me. I will probably be doing a combination of chopping and flattening raising. So as I say that, I realize I need some stone perhaps to raise. Okay. Alright, well we are busy refining metals. I am going to think a little bit more about exactly what I want to do here. So, now that looks nice. And even ish for what I'm working with here. Big drop. Okay, so the options kind of are extend this way. Or that way. And that way has more of a canal and a smoother slope down with that water in the middle, which is interestingly part of what I wanted up doing later, a moat. Around the main base with the ocean on one side. Actually might be better than up on the hill. The other option is over here, but that's pretty far. Okay. I'll also probably want to make a circle around this. Things can still kind of be able to come in through there, but not 
otherwise. So yeah, it looks like kind of this is a wall, a wall. I won't be able to do a moat, that's for sure. And the reason I'm saying that is the Sertlins attack at some point. I believe after Bone Mass, after the mountains, I can't quite remember. And at that point, having a moat keeps them from being able to hop over into your area. It's as simple as that. Yeah, I forgot to start the charcoal. Berries, berries. So like, like I say, like this. Entire area, if I refurbished it. This kind of whole thing. Through here, like this entire circle. <sighs> A little far from my original thing, but not not too bad. And I guess in truth, I could probably lay a farm along that vertical. Up in there. Okay, and stones all around here. That's my boundary. Might be kind of nice to have this. Alright, well. I think that's what I'm going to do. And another thing I'm going to do is start a timer. Seven minutes in, we got 23 minutes left. Say, so I forgot to start the charcoal. I'm going to go ahead and go do that. But uh, of course, what I'll have then is a few pieces of stuff manufactured, and I'll be tempted and won't fight temptation to see what I can build next. Look at that. Look at all those things I can build now. Look at all these options I have now. Okay. Let's see. A forge. Forge cooler. Don't need to get that far yet. Okay, I believe that's for sure next. Okay, what did I have? I just had two pieces of tin. Okay. Alright. Also, no, not yet. So, okay. I think Forge is up, obviously. Copper and coal. Okay. Six ten four four. All right, so it's going to need to be covered. <coughs> I got no more room left in here. I'm just go ahead and Frankenstein this for now. Just to get me started here. A little side shed for my forge. That gives me access to the things there. Cauldron included. All right. All right, so can at least get a upper, a uh, larger knife. Probably make a little bit of bronze and see what I can make with bronze. And I can also make my higher end cookery, which I'll just go ahead and do back here too. Get a few more rocks.
think it's five. We'll find out. It's ten ten. I don't have it yet, but I got two pieces uh, sitting here ready to burn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Did I put away coal instead of grabbing coal? Probably. Okay. Yes, I'm thinking hard. Feed me. Yes. Basically, my goal is axe, cultivator, farm, carrots, all that good stuff. there and of course I can cut that fish so uh, put it here for now no no put it here slice that fish up out <laughs> pieces of fish. Yum yum. Better than the deer, that's for sure. Next goal, carrots. Yeah, I will get my food game going before I go venturing more, you know what I mean? It'll save me time in the end. So, uh... What I need for that... Is there one more on there? I'm missing. Okay, yeah. Got it. What I'm needing... I believe is bronze, which now I'm going to need tin for. Running back to the Black Forest area with water. Mm, I think it's six blue. So yeah, I kind of need to start collecting those blueberries. Exactly. Perfect. Delicious Queen's Jam. So now we've got hierarchy here. Better foods. We got our ore scenario working out. Yep, yep, yep.
Looking good. And we need tin. We'll certainly need more coal. And we'll also want to keep these fires going. Got one piece of tin here. So I can make one piece of bronze just to get an idea of what I'm going to need. on the forge. Yep. All right. Hmm. Might need to take care of the elder before I get the chance to make a cultivator. Kind of now I can't remember. Certainly can't make it from this set of things. Ah! Core wood. Need to get some core wood. So yes, the big deal is the bronze axe now. Gonna need eight bronze. So I'm gonna need uh, 16 copper. An eight ten. Great. All right. Need that before I can get the fine wood to make the thing. So let's going to be at least making one more run to mine before I have a shortcut back. And that's just the way it is. Taking a quick break. Be right back. It's night. I'll be ready to go in the morning. Here we go. <clears throat> okay. Ten. Now there will be some more uh, over here. And I do think there will be some along this river as well. Kind of seems about the same. One of the half of the three of the four of the dozen of the other. Uh, I'm going to go kind of back to where I were. And then. And uh, just keep exploring along the coast here. Also keep an eye out for burial chambers where I might find. Or any other area where I might find another indicator of an elder. All right. So this burial chamber is also empty. Going up to that tin zone. With my new food. And my three buddies. And my ETH gear. 
all those things. And pop. Let's go. I'll be back for you not too long from now. Jump over on my little rock. A little more direct route. <laughs> okay, not quite what I was hoping for. This ridge. Okay. And then it kind of straightens out. There's less of those. Okay, got it. Interesting. Copper's here. Might as well start with that. It's a pretty good location, too. So, two things. Core wood. And... I'm going to go ahead and do that <coughs> surroundings here. Kind of protect myself while I'm building. kind of do this like a real good job here. And then this will end up being uh, maybe a good place for a carved out secondary base. Our primary base, think about it. Oh, plenty of eyes. Could have upgraded my knife and such but to cut at least a copper knife. Probably should have done that, but Is there any pine tree around? Well, I can't cut them yet anyway. All right. So there you have it. That's what I'm on about. Okay, what am I doing? Chopping into the dirt. Pretty. I can make the Yule Tree, which I think will give me more rest. It's worth it. And of course, as soon as I make some bronze nails, I can also start hanging things up. Something like that. Doing stuff. Alright, so I'm going to be basically burrowing underneath this entire thing and it's going to be extending I want to guess maybe this way hard to say so I kind of want to make a perimeter around it and I'm going to dig out the dirt below it to put my workshop on so I'm just going to kind of start doing that part This is a pretty close piece of copper. And there'll be some tin. So I might as well get to the bottom of this and dig out a little few pieces. I only need 16, so I am still going to stick to that for now. But I just wanted to not waste any of my efforts. Go ahead and dig under. Find the bottom. Dig a few pieces.
Yeah, so that's shelter and water. All right. So this is where I'll put my crafting table. If I can. Maybe because it's wet. Won't let me. Let me see. Help. Yes. And the point was to make it so I can use it. Which is good. And that just kind of plug me in here a little bit. shelter. Can stack these. So might as well. Just kind of have to, I always have to figure out exactly where to point my pointer. Oh, come on. There you go. Kind of right up in that nook. Like that. There we go. Just so I can be a little less harassed while I'm in here, you know? Alright, no more wood, but that's pretty good. Dig some copper. way so my workbench stays covered and my fence stays effective. Slow going, but we're getting it. 16 copper and 8 tin. That's what I'm gonna be done, gone and done, doing when I've been uh, where I've gone and done been. They can't all be bangers, folks. And of course, another thing I'm going to want to get is a bronze pickaxe. Also, I believe I need core wood for that bad boy. Well, how far is I'm going to get here before I see sky? But that's what I'm looking for. All right. That looks like sky right above me there. Doing pretty good here. Get down in there, find the bottom. 
Nice. <clears throat> Not much more rested. But at this point, I can build a fire in here. Just gonna need more wood. Need a little more honey. And another fish. And might as well up on the jelly too. Here, a couple of fecal, a couple of gray dwarves roaming around up there, but they can't get to me. As long as I keep underneath this crust and it doesn't pop, <laughs> which would be fine if it does. But it's attached all over, so I don't think it will. Using that to my advantage at this point. Perfect, look at that. I think I'm still covered. Yep. Which is great. Uh, let's see. Maybe this way? Yes. One thirty three of rested. Okay, we are full. Can make a little stone pile. So I got fifty. Okay, perfect. And guess what? I've got sixteen ore. That's all the copper I need. I'll be back. Let me mark it. Duh. Pretty good. Pretty happy about this haul. Um, and yeah, as I say, I can make a fire, so I will make a fire. Five more stones. Look at all these stones. I do need some eyes, so give me your eyes. Oh, look at that one. He's a one star. night everyone okay uh, look at that I got everything I need thanks everyone very kind contributions and a fire I shall make look at this beautiful digs you don't feel rested no more but you're gonna And, uh, just about done with time, but the 10 or 8 each, I need 8. I got enough room for 10. So before I go home, I'm going to go 10 hunting, uh, even if it's nighttime. And right now I got... No more time. So good. I'm going to do that next. Later, taters.